welcome back to your english class hope you are doing great and your family as well enjoying a happy and healthy day today let us start the first poems introduction with the poets introduction from your syllabus the first poem of your syllabus is i celebrate myself written by walt whitman he has taken birth in 1819 and died in the year 1892 he was known as the poet of universal values universal values means having all the morals and the values or the values which are common in all the human beings which actually relate to the human beings he has a lot of like multifaceted personality he played a lot of roles in his own life it's not about on camera roles it is not in the theaters it is only in the life he was a compositor a teacher hospital volunteer and an assistant to in an office it was the office of a printers printing material and all so he worked as an apprentice or you can say the assistant to the printers office he has written many things firstly he used to write down a variety of the things but later on he started writing only on the glory of god that means he wants to celebrate the nature the creation and the creator itself so his poem this with the name leaves of grass is declared as the epic poem epic poem one of the you can say popular and one of the poem which cannot be like compared it is one of the greatly um, inspire uh, inspiring poem for the many people so this the name is that of the leaves of grass before starting the poem i like to ask a few questions just whenever we i am asking any question to you just get the answer from within yourself definitely ask the question to your own self and get the answer from your own that what the answer could be of you so you can get an idea of your own personality how you feel 90% times everybody feels the same okay so sometimes once in a while it is out of the box otherwise everybody would have the same type of the emotions just imagine it out if somebody is praising their own self um i think nowadays many of the advertisements are also coming on the television where any one is sitting any model of is sitting in front of the mirror and praising her own self like how i'm beautiful how good i'm looking how uh, like uh, such a like, I, i'm becoming my own fan do you really like that attitude of the persons or do you want to have that attitude in you no of course not if you see anybody praising themselves in front of the mirror or praising them own praising themselves in front of any other person you would feel like oh what is that are they out of the senses or are they really so proud that they are praising themselves we get this feeling or not yes we get this feeling and it is true to certain extent that there is no need to praise your own self we cannot say uh, if suppose you are attending any of the uh, like uh, more people are there in the class itself just imagine it out in the class you are attending the class and uh, your english teacher or anyone i would have said you please come on the desk and speak few words about your own self that means your own introduction so normally what do we give my name is so and so i am studying in so and so class i have hobbies i uh, stay at so, so such a particular place and my hobbies are whatever your hobbies are you could never say that i am a very intelligent one a brilliant uh, girl with uh, lots of beauty with uh, lots of uh, senses to understand with uh, a very popular one would you say like that no of course not otherwise the whole class has started hooting at you 
so here is that the poet is saying that he wants to celebrate himself that means he wants to praise himself but here the meaning is very much different here i celebrate myself it means that i am praising myself who is saying that walt whitman so here it doesn't mean that he is praising himself he is praising the creator in the whole poem you can understand that even though the heading is like that the title is i celebrate myself but the actual meaning when you understand the whole you can get it that he is praising the god he is praising the creator not himself as a person so we'll go ahead with the first stanza i celebrate myself and sing myself that means i celebrate i praise myself and i sing my own song that means not to the praising the others i am praising myself only and i am singing my own songs praising myself singing my own song that means i am having a freedom of living my own life and what i assume you shall assume here the word assume being given i wrote the meaning here have an appearance what i shall assume and what i assume you shall assume here it means that what i have an appearance you to have an appearance okay genders are there that all are human beings we cannot judge the persons by their colors by their heights by their looks no we cannot we all are human beings and to be honest we haven't made ourselves right we cannot even draw ourselves properly we don't have that capacity to draw ourselves and if somebody is drawing also they cannot put the life into the person right it shows that creator is the main uh, the creator is the main one who has created all the creations whatever your appearance and whatever my appearance here wiltman is saying whatever your appearance and whatever my appearance all are same created by the same creator created by the same creator and having the same type of the appearance like everybody has two eyes one nose two hands fingers legs everything we cannot say and the color of the blood is same of everyone so we cannot say that okay i am different if you are different means you have to check it out that in what way you are different you are not normal then right so you need to understand that what he is praising he is praising the appearance as not a beautif uh, for beautification he is actually celebrating the creation of the creator the almighty the god who has created he is singing that song for the creator and he is what he is saying i celebrate myself and sing myself and what i assume you shall assume that means what i am singing my own uh, song and i am celebrating my own self and I, i i look like the same as you look for every item for every item belonging to me as good belongs to you the atoms and the molecules i hope everybody remember whether which uh, ever stream you are belonging to in your 10th standard till your 10th standard you have studied about the atom and the molecules so you know that everything is made up of the atoms the cells and all so if you are reading out in the detail of the human body you can find it out that except dna or something the others are common everybody is being created by god in a certain way he is saying the same thing that i am also belonging to the same item i have the same item what you have so that doesn't make a difference because uh, recently also it had happened that one of the uh, negro has been uh, died and uh, there is a lot of chaos in the western countries after his death because uh, people uh, uh, that was a slogan like a uh, hashtag uh, black lives matter so that was actually being made to known that many of the ones those who have come out on the roads 
for defending that person or you can say in support of that person were the white ones. So how can we divide the world into white, black or British or any other colors? When God has created everybody as equal and even what he is saying here is that not only the human being, God has created the whole world. I loaf and invite my soul. Loaf here, there are two loaves. <clears throat> L-O-A-F, one loaf is used for the uh, loaf of bread, like slices all together compiled at one place, that is loaf of bread. What we get it into that a packed one, that is loaf of bread. But here that loaf with E, it is a verb, it means that loaf which I am talking is a noun, loaf of bread. This is a verb, move about without any work, lazily walking, moving, not disturbing others, simply walking. Some people walk to observe the nature, to see what is there in the nature, to just enjoy the nature, to get the fresh air, to enjoy the wet grass, uh, to see the green trees, to see the dews, uh, dew drops on the leaves, the variety of the flowers. So it is not necessary that if somebody is walking on the road doesn't mean that they are actually disturbing the other people. They should not disturb. If you are going along somewhere, like if you want to enjoy the nature, go ahead. So he is saying that I loaf, I invite my, I loaf and invite my soul. I work lazily without any particular work and I invite my soul. That means I started enjoying my own self and I started talking to my own soul. It doesn't mean that he was a mad person. Talking to the soul means inner we inner talk like introspection in psychology there is a word known as the introspection and this what he is talking about is i invite my soul is self introspection many times if we do any mistake we had a feeling that Really, do we have done that or am I right in doing that? That question and answer which your conscience gives you, that is actually your self-introspection. And everybody, God has created everyone with one conscience. It's up to you how to use your conscience. Either let it sleep or you can wake up your conscience every day. If you have a wake up awake conscience, Definitely, you can do better in the world. You can be an honest person. You can be a straightforward person. A straightforward doesn't mean that you have to hurt others. Okay, a straightforward means you have to, instead of creating the dramas, you have to talk directly. That is the straightforwardness. Sometimes some people get it wrong in, in a wrong way. Like a straightforwardness means you would have to talk rudely to the other persons and give them a message, you are wrong in this way and that, this is not the way. If somebody is wrong also, if you want to point out the mistake of the other person as well, you have to be very polite. Don't, don't lose your manners, don't lose your tempers, your etiquettes are counted. The word which are spoken in a polite manner has a great impact when compared to be spoken in a rude manner. Your tone does matter, not your words. Your tone does matter. What the tone you are using, if you are shouting, screaming at the other person, insulting, the only shouting and the screaming looks like the insult. And if you talk politely, the same words, you can use it in a polite way, the tone get changed and the whole impact get changed on the person. So here what is saying that, I loaf, I walk lazily on the anywhere, you know, on the road or any place observe the nature and I invite my soul to talk to me. That means I started my self introspection. I lean and loaf at my easy ease observing a sphere of summer grass. I lean, lean means a little bit to bend down. Like sitting on the bench, you normally lean and you're at your back. So maybe uh, many a times your teachers have said you, don't lean, don't lean on the wall, don't lean on the bench, on the desk, 
right so this is actually the leaning in that way or you are bending a little bit so here it happens the i lean and loaf loaf again lean is bent loaf is without any particular reason at my ease observing a sphere of summer grass a small particle of the grass like a small leaf a small leaf of the grass he wants to bend and check it out the small leaf of the grass grass so here what does it mean he is actually praising the nature like seriously if you observe a patterns of the flowers like you have so many like uh, i hope you have uh, uh, plants at home so you can check it out every plant has a different shade every flower has a different shade sometimes you find two three shades in a flower not necessary it is always because of the hybridization no many times it is but natural it is but natural so he was praising the nature he is saying that i take my time i lean down i actually without any particular reason i started praising the a summer grass a small spear of the summer grass a small spear means a particular as you now you can say one leaf one leaf i observe and praise the god so overall what he is saying is that i celebrate myself and sing myself and what i assume you shall assume for every item belonging to me as good belongs to you i celebrate i sing and both of us or you can say the overall world appears in the same manner they have the same appearance and we are the only creations the creator is different we are not the creators we are the creations <clears throat> i loaf and invite my soul i lean and loaf at my ease observing a sphere of summer grass actually this is one of the thing which we need in our day to day life taking time out for our own self and checking out what is going on in our life whether everything is normal are we getting more stress are we getting more tension or are we feeling more depressed on a single or something very silly sometimes some silly things get rewind in your mind and you started depressing onto that particular thing and because of that only many of the people are getting suicidal tendencies and they are doing the suicides so there is a need for us to go for self introspection to give time to our own self it is not always praising your own self it is giving time to your own self to understand your own self and sometimes to appreciate others and to admit that we are wrong in a certain way this is the most difficult task for the people finding fault with the others is very easy but accepting our own mistake is a difficult one but we are human beings human beings make the errors so ready be ready to accept it out there is nothing to worry about that if you are wrong in a certain manner sometimes it happens that we uh, wrongly judge the person we give a wrong comment we actually without understanding the person we started assumptions so it is better to apology no matter what no matter what your age is maybe you have to apologize with the younger one maybe you have to apologize with the elders elders also okay you would be is it will be easier for uh, apologizing with the elders but for the youngers yes you can so they learn from you if you are one saying them sorry okay i did a mistake next time for sure they'll come to you and they'll say you sorry so that means that we have to understand we have to check out our own selves we have to give some time to our own self instead of feeling that i am the only person suffering i am only person victim i am the only person who has done so many things no if you do introspection self introspection you'll get an idea that if you loaf and invite your own soul you will get an idea that sometimes or maybe many times we are also wrong we are also wrong and so the other person keep quiet and they accepted ourselves because they love us a lot check it out in your own family with your siblings with your parents many times you are also wrong but they accept your faults with the faults with the positive points with the negative points they accept you as it is so there is a need to 
introspect ourselves and to find it out. He is saying that and praising a small leaf of grass is one of the, you can say the, this least thing we should have to do that we should have to praise the whatever the nature is, what the nature is giving us. You can, uh, you know that now being grown up in such a way that you can get it an idea that what are the things are we required from the nature. Many times you have read and how nature is providing us, what we are providing to, to nature and what nature is giving us. So there is a need to introspect ourselves, to find out our own self and to invite our soul ones. So what he wanted to say all this, I hope you have understood these two stanzas clearly. In the next class, we will continue the same poem with the other stanzas. By the time, take care.